Good news, everybody. We're gonna make another useful thing on the channel, which is a little different than normal that you guys can hopefully make yourself. And that's this little guy. So on my computer, I've had this actually operating for quite a while, is a little tiny OLED hooked to an Arduino. And then from that Arduino, there's a little thermometer or temperature probe, looks just like this guy right here, that travels all the way into my reservoir and just kind of hangs in there and monitors by fluid temperature. And then it displays that temperature in degrees Celsius on this OLED and it's just kind of sitting on top of my computer looking a bit messy and I thought why not package this up a little nicer that's something that can go in a computer mounted to a reservoir that you guys could do also and, and then it looks better and then they just clear all this nonsense up from the top of my computer itself and you might be wondering uh, why why would you ever want to just monitor the fluid temperature in your cooling loop don't you really just care about your CPU and your GPU temperatures and yeah you do but Surprisingly, um, I actually didn't even know this until I looked into it, there is components in your cooling loop that have a specified temperature they need to stay below. For example, this EK pump reservoir combo needs to stay below 60 degrees Celsius. And you might think that's pretty warm for uh, your coolant, and it is, but I have actually seen, so right now this is sitting about 27.5 uh, Celsius, but just sitting at idle, I just turned it on. Room's relatively cool. But I've seen it get as high as 48, 45 degrees Celsius on the loop which is still not 60, but it's a lot higher than I ever thought a cooling loop would be. And it just also, I'm just kind of the person that likes looking at different gauges and displays and whatnot to just like to see all the parameters. And this is something that I think is just cool and, and useful. So we're gonna take this little OLED plus this little Uno, I think he's, no, this is the Uno, this is like the mini one, whatever. Arduino Mini. I'll put, I'll put the real thing right here. Take this, this OLED, this thermometer, or this temperature probe, and we're going to try to create something that mounts to that reservoir. We're just gonna, we're gonna do it together on the channel, and then if you guys wanna do it yourself for your cooling loop, you'll have all the information you need. Also, as always, I'll be putting all these models on my Thingiverse account for you guys to go there, download it, so you don't have to worry about designing nothing. We're gonna design it here together, and then you can print it out, and as long as you have a radiator, or not a radiator, a uh, reservoir, the same diameter as this one, you should be good. So first thing we need to do is figure out how we want this dealio to package. And I'm thinking, so I sat here for a minute and stared at it, but I think this is how I want it to go. <clears throat> so on my kinetic pump from EK, I have three ports on top. One I'm actually using right now. You can see I put a, I put like a barb fitting on there and I just have the probe just boop sitting in top of there. And then I have a fill port and then I have the return line for my radiator. And given that there's this plastic ring on the bottom that holds RGB and I have some plastic PLA, I think I want to mount another ring on top that kind of matches and then houses or holds the display kind of right there. So on the front, this will be maybe directly behind it. It'll be a little, a little thick boy, but I think if we do it halfway decent, it should look all right. And we'll just basically make a ring that sits on the top of this cap, holds the display, a little bezel, and then the, we'll shorten up the probe wire and we'll just feed it in there and we'll see how it, we'll see how it turns out. So the first thing we need to do is design this thing uh, after we get some measurements. So as with everything, when I set out to do something like this, Jesus, I have no empty pages on this little notebook. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So I can use one page for every letter. All right, there we go. So what I like to do is, I know I want it up here, um, somewhere like a soul. And we're gonna sit out a little bit. I mean, hopefully not too far that we're impeding with the door. Let's see here. So I wanna say we've got 15 millimeters to work with. So let's just say, let's just try to put this thing out 15 millimeters. Oh yeah, I think we're close. We'll call it 15. So we got a 15 millimeters of space that we can protrude that before we hit the glass. So we'll put that little note down there. 15 out. And since I want it to be mounted to this rim here, so the idea here is to try to match this a little bit. So I'm going to make something, obviously I'm going to take the cap off or the, the, the tubing out to sit over the top like so. But I want it to hold the screen and the Arduino in a package deal. I'll probably remove these headers so it's not so thick. And we'll put a bezel around it with a ring that goes around the cap 
Uh, I want to remain, I want these all to remain clear and I'm going to shorten up the loop and it's just going to be a quick little dump of the probe into the, the cooling loop. I haven't had any issues with it splashing out or anything like that. It's been pretty good. I might heat shrink it or heat wrap it or do something to seal it up a little better. But with that idea in mind, we will take the diameter of said cap. 63 and a half, that's what we'll call it. What's the tubing itself? 5996, looks like it's supposed to be, wants to be 60. How thick is our lid here? About 15, we'll call it 15. So armed with that information, we'll close this up and get to drawing. So now with this, bad boy mechanical drawing we're going to start by first order of business is modeling the reservoir with all the tubing just so we know where roughly where everything is so we can design around it that's always what i like to do first so that's what we'll do here so we don't need to make it a too too elaborate of a model just a representation of what we're dealing with here so it's just going to be a series of circles really so this will be the cap and we said that was 63.5. Boom, boom. Extrude that down to 15. Is that what we said? 15 millimeters? That is what I wrote. That's what you look like. All right, trust the handwriting. So we'll say that's the cap. Now we'll do the, uh, we'll do a little bit of the radiator or the reservoir, I don't know why I keep saying radiator, radiator, reservoir, <laughs> reservoir, and that was a solid 60 mil, and we'll extrude that, doesn't matter, we'll say 60, could be 100,000, doesn't matter, so that is going to be a rough look at our reservoir, the cap up top, the reservoir down below, and now we're going to model these holes based on what we guesstimated them to be, so we'll do there we go. We have the the Zelda triangle, and we're going to put our little fittings here. This is essentially going to be the area that we need to remain clear of, and we're just going to cut holes so it's easy to identify at 21 millimeters. Make sure all they're all the same. So now they're equal, equal spacing around. We're going to just cut into the lid that we made just as a reference to say, hey, there's fittings here we want to stay clear of. So that is our reservoir cap. And if we want to make it look even awesomer, we'll make it clear. Polycarbonate, good enough. And we'll start now on a new drawing. So let's start out by making the ring that's going to go around the lid. And since we know that the lid inner diameter, well, the outer diameter of the cap is 63.5, we're going to want this to be 64 so it's nice and snug but also fits. Plus the printer always likes to print a little undersized. So knowing that we'll do 64.3. I don't want it to be too thick just yet, so we'll just do an offset of wall thickness. Two mils, then extrude that. So there we go. So that's gonna be the outer ring of where the monitor is gonna mount to. So what I can do now is I can actually save this as its own little thing, so we'll call it monitor mount or just a bunch of letters that I think says means that and we'll drag this in and then as we continue to modify this and edit it it will slowly change and we'll make sure that we are always staying clear of the things we want to stay clear of so so far that's what we have I drew this little construction line here just to say hey that's the you know that's the radius we need to not get into and it's about 55 and a quarter or 55.5 millimeters so if we you know stay Make sure that there's a hole at least of 56, we should be all right. Now, in order to keep it from sliding down off this whole deal, we're gonna need to get a, give it a lip. So we'll say this is the top and we'll do exactly what we were just talking about. So this is gonna be another circle. We'll mate it up with that same diameter and we'll give it an inside diameter of, like we were saying, 56. And we'll do another extrude and this will be essentially the lip on top. So we'll do this two millimeters as well to match the wall thickness. And if now, you know, like I said, if we go back to our assembly now, we can see it updating. Now I changed this. This maid's gonna be mad because this doesn't really exist anymore. So we'll give it something new to make to. So there we go. Now she happy. 
And we can always just look, so that seems so far so good. So I actually spent a little bit of time off camera fine tuning the design. I know I originally I said I wanted it to be an all one piece and then I got to thinking that's a little bit too much work to put this onto a system and especially if you guys want to print it out and nobody wants to drain the loop and remove tubing and dbd boppity to get uh, a display on there. So I decided that I would go two piece. Um, so it's gonna be an assembly. The first assembly is gonna hold the screen and the Arduino and the second is gonna be the ring that holds it to the reservoir. So let me show you what I got. So as you can see, I did find, well, I make this transparent here. So I found a model of the Arduino Nano and I made a display uh, basically I modeled the OLED. The biggest problem was the actual area that the text is displayed is a little offset and goofy compared to the, the screen itself. So I had to, you know, get it in there so I could try to only show that portion. But this is how I want it to work. The screen is going to sit down within this plastic piece. The wiring is going to travel from the Arduino to the display within this. And uh, we'll hold the screen in place with the board itself. The board is a tighter fit than the screen. Then that is going to be plugged into this big C-clip looking deal that sits on top of our reservoir. Uh, the thermal probe comes out here and the USB comes out here. And I added some tie down points for the cabling to come around the back. And we'll go into the top for the thermal probe and this USB cable will come down the back side off to wherever I need to plug it in at. Uh, it looks pretty boxy and square. And the idea here is on my setup, I'm in the Antec P120 crystal, I believe the cases I got. And I want this up to the glass. We know we have about 15 millimeters of space between the glass. And if I make everything kind of flat, when I have the case closed, it's gonna be you know, right up against it, nice and flat. Hopefully looks clean. But um, if you wanna edit this or modify it to fit your case, go ahead, more than welcome. This will at least give you a starting point. So now that I got the design figured out here, um, I already printed it out, so we're gonna have to do some wiring and some fit up. So let's do that now. So before we go wiring anything up, of course we should make sure it fits as intended. So here's the C-clip and here's the screen. This is gonna go on the top like so, should fall right down there. Oh, look at that, nice, perfect fit. It's like we meant for that to happen. And then this should snap right in between the two. Perfect. And hopefully if we measure it somewhat correctly, the door will close without hitting the screen. And actually, fits pretty good. We have a bit more space than uh, we thought, but it looks just fine. So the screen should go in just like this. There you go. It's a little loose in there, but the board itself sits right above it, and it's a lot tighter fit. So I wanted to put some material between the two, and we should be all right. But first we gotta get the board soldered to the OLED. So I got everything wired up here, ready to go, just in case you're following along at home here. Um, the OLED display, five volt and ground, hooked to the appropriate five volt and ground header. And then you're gonna have the SCL and SDA cable, which are gonna go to pins A4 and A5 respectively. I'll put a little diagram up on the board, up on the screen, showing you what I'm following. Then on the back side, I have thermal probe, with its red wire to five volts, black wire to ground, and then the signal wire yellow to pin two with a pull up here. Now we have to put this in there, get everything packaged up and we should be good to go. Everything should be working just fine. Unfortunately, I only have this blue USB cable that I cut off the end from. So, look at this regular one versus the one I chopped up here. It would look better with a black one, but I don't have a black one and I can't be bothered to find one. So we're just gonna go with this. And I guess before we go ahead and put it in the computer, we should probably make sure everything is still working. Hey, hey, hey. Looks like we're working. I guess we'll touch the probe and make sure that we are actually reading temp and it looks like we are. 24, 26, 25.2. Nice, so now let's put it in the PC. So I'm gonna use just this barb fitting. I don't have any heat shrink big enough to go around it, but that's fine. 
I'm gonna leave my reservoir open as long as I don't tip the case over. It shouldn't be a problem. Could 3D print a, cut, a cap for it, but I'm getting ready to do a big overhaul on this PC anyway, so I'll have to figure out something new down the line anyway. Slip it around. I turned the PC off just because I keep sticking my fingers in the fan, and that's a bummer, but you wouldn't really need to. Now they're shabby. I mean, it, it's not perfect. I wish I had a black uh, USB cord, but what are you going to do? It actually kind of looks like a Fitbit, to tell you the truth, but it does what we want it to. It turned out like we planned, and it's functional, so I think it's a win-win. And uh, of course, you better find that on my Thingiverse account. The code for how I'm running it, I'll find somewhere to put that too. I don't know if I can put that in my Thingiverse in the description or something, but I'll put it out there somewhere. Check the description for that. I would explain to you what all it's doing, but uh, let's be honest, I'm pretty new at this program in Shindig, so I can't. You have to go somewhere else to check it out. But I'll put it out there so you can copy and paste it and make this thing work if you want to do it yourself. And I think we'll end it by uh, running a stress test and seeing how high we get our loop temperature. So right now we're sitting at 28.6. Let's do a little stress test, crank it up, and uh, see how high we can go. And thanks again for watching. Make sure to get subscribed. Max Power.